Okay, two last ones before we get into control of genetic disease. Um, CRD4 or CORD1 PRA. So this is a test you're going to get test results from on lots of different companies, Neogen, Embark, and so forth. Okay, um, it's it's not at a high frequency. Okay, but there's a high carrier frequency of it. This is a disease that you need to not pay attention to because it's got nothing to do with disease in your dog, CORD1 or CRD4 PRA. It only occurs clinically in miniature long-haired dachshunds and English Springer Spaniels. Those are the only two breeds or subgroups of breeds that actually have this disease. It is the second most common gene variant identified across all dogs that have ever been tested, mixed breed and purebred. Second most frequent variant has nothing to do with disease except in a very small subset of breeds here. So you need to ignore it and not be worried about it. Definitely don't select against it. It's got nothing to do with disease. And 